And rolling. Hello YouTube, this is Luke from Tri Paladins coming at you with another deck profile. Uh, this time this is my uh, Dark States Vehemence Bruce updated BT10 deck. Again, not a lot of updates uh, with this deck, a lot of it is mostly the old stuff with a couple of new cards uh, that I've changed over myself. So we'll just get straight into it and we'll uh, get you updated. So, uh, right deck wise, has not changed, it's still the uh, you know, the Matt, Steve, uh, Richard, and Bruce ride line. Um, I've not really seen any different ride, uh, ride lines with the Bruce deck that actually make a substantial difference other than the Diabolus ride line, plus the more Diabolus units, the, the better this deck performs. So, on to grade threes first. Obviously, you want to run the three extra copies of uh, Diabolus via Matt's Bruce. Uh, so, via Matt's Bruce, for those who don't know, this guy is the main... Uh, main boy of the deck and he is well you know you have your final rush and your final burst uh when you ride him um you start your battle phase if your opponent is in grade three or greater you go into final burst which final burst is itself final rush uh when you're in final rush you can just get your final rush skills but you can't restand your van uh, your rearguard columns like vmats can when you're in final burst you cast pass one when he attacks and you choose one of your columns if your units are all diabolus units you go into final burst or final rush you restand a column and both those units in the column gain 5,000 power each. So it's just there for more attacks. And with the updates coming in, set 12. Is it set 12? The new units? Yes. New, yes, the yeah, new units in set 12. We're getting a lot more a lot more attacks, bigger hand power, and just a bit more uh, aggressiveness when it comes to and the deck. little soul manipulation. A little bit of soul manipulation, but not great. Uh, the next grade three I run are two copies of Julian. Now, Julian is a bit of a controversial one because I know a lot of people don't like running Julian when it comes to VMAX Bruce. Um, I like him simply because of the early game power rush, the power pressure, and then the more field pressure if you haven't got enough uh, units in hand that you don't want to call just yet. So Julian is, when he attacks, he doesn't require final burst or final rush. He just, when he attacks, you cast plus one and he gains 2,000 power for every card in your damage zone. When he attacks after he gains um, that mid power for each card in your damage zone, so say if you've got uh, three cards in damage, he's gaining uh, 6k power, so that's making him a 19k attacker off the bat. And usually by the time I've got uh, to grade three, I've got at least three or four damage, maybe two. So it's still, you know, a 17 to, you know, 17, 19 or a 21k attacker. So it's very nice. Um, so Julian has also got a skill of when he attacks, uh, you soul blast one for every card, uh, every two cards in your damage zone, and then you call a card out of your soul. So you can either call a second uh, attacker, or you can call a booster behind your vanguard, or an extra rear guard that has a final rush or final burst mechanic to it. So as an early game power rush, uh, he's good at two. I don't want to run any more than two because he's a really good key component, but I still need more room for other things. So yes. Uh, the next grade three I run are two copies of Greg. Now, Greg, I don't really use Greg's skill a lot, uh, but when you do use him, he is a final burst only character, uh, only um, final burst only mechanic card. Uh, he is a soul blast two and cast blast one, um, and when you're in final burst, he gains five k. So he's okay. He becomes a seventeen k attacker. But obviously, if you restand him, he's a twenty three. Boosting that with cards like Triss and Stephanie, more more five k power, and then an extra eight k, maybe more with triggers and whatnot. But normally, I tend to use him for discard fodder. I haven't really used his skill that much, so he's just there to fill a gap, I suppose, oh, because I don't um, want to run the four copies of Julia. It's soul blast two and gets a counter charge. Oh, it's counter charge. Well, see, that's how much I use him. <laughs> Hardly. Exactly. And then the last copy of Grade Threes, I run the uh, Grade Three uh, Persona Ride Order simply to fill the gap with the. The, the extra... most expensive card. Well, yeah, the ex one of the most expensive. Uh, just to fill the gap with the, you know, three copies of Bruce, because who doesn't like having more Persona Rides? Plus, um, say if I've expended most of my Persona Rides, or I've got them in damage, or they're on field because I've been forced to call them, it's just nice having that in hand and the extra Persona Ride just in case of having more, I guess. Uh, I don't see why many decks don't run the extra Persona Ride, because... A lot of decks can benefit from it, but again, it's personal preference, I suppose. So, onto the grade twos. Um, I'm running two copies of Eden. Uh, Eden is the original 
MVP of the original Bruce deck. In Veomance, he's not as substantial, but he's nice to have a two of, simply because of his ability to retire a rearguard when he's on hit, and when he's restood by an ability, um, you know, he gains a critical, and he also gets an extra 5k, so he's a 15k, uh, he's a 15k hitter when you're in Final Rush, so that includes when you're in Final Burst, because as I said, Final Burst is Final Rush. So he's, he's okay as a two off. I would maybe run him as a three, but I can't really think of any copies. And I think when the new stuff comes out, he will either go down to a one of, or I might just move him out of the deck altogether. So for right now, he's a placeholder, but for now he's still a decent MVP because he can get decent power. He's got retire pressure and the critical pressure when he restands, he does some substantial stuff. So uh, next on the grade two list, I'm running four copies of Jamil. Uh, Jamil is much like most of the grade twos in here. He's a very substantial key point in the deck. So during final burst, he gains uh, ten thousand power and ten thousand uh, five thousand power uh, shield. So he's a, he is a ten k shield, and he's constantly a twenty k hitter. And like Bruce, uh, like Bruce says, uh, final burst and final rush last to the end of your opponent's next turn. So after you end your turn on a final rush or final burst attack, Jamil is still going to be sitting at 20k. Uh, Eden's still going to be sitting at 15k. So it's going to be, it makes attacking your um, your opponent attacking your rear guards a bit more difficult. And when you intercept with him, he's a 10k shield, and 10k shields can make or break the game if they like to. Or if he's in the hand. Precisely. So uh, his second skill is on place. You cast plus one and you soul and you soul charge one, and you choose a card from your soul, um, and then you just call it. Basically, I think it's a Diabolos card. You have to have you have to have Vehemence Bruce on. Well, you have to have Vehemence Bruce, and you just call a Diabolos card and call it open rear guard. But then again, since all of this deck are Diabolos cards, minus the um, the Grade Three Persona Ride Order, it's got UPGs, and then a couple of triggers, you're you're going to be hitting for everything. You're going to be getting everything out on the field. Next Grade Two, well, the last Grade Two, should I say, um, is the one of the newer ones from Set Ten. Uh, again, another. This is probably my favorite card in the entire deck. I uh, think it's everyone. It's it's everyone's favorite. I would say more than likely, uh, it's Patrick. Uh, Patrick is. I would say Patrick is a lot more, more. He's a lot more important than cards like Eden, and even I would say he's more important than Jamil. Uh, Jamil and Patrick share the same uh, skill in a sense. So when you're in final burst, uh, he gains 10k power, and that is it. Uh, but it's also active on your opponent's turn too, as all final burst and final rush skills are, thanks to BMS Bruce. So he's a 20k hitter, still a 5k shield, but his more important skill is when he attacks. So when you attack with Patrick, if you are in final burst, I believe, mm -hmm. or if you've got... Uh, yes. No, when you're in final rush. Yeah, so final rush. when you're in final rush with Patrick, when you swing, you soul bust one and you choose two of your opponent's rear guards and you move them to the guardian circle. So in a sense, you're making... Um, you're making um, it a bit difficult for your opponent to guard. When you're in final rush, you're only moving one, but when you're in final burst, you choose two, so you can completely destroy a column, or you can nullify your opponents from a rear guards if they want to keep them there. So no matter what, you're going to get, excuse me, you're gonna get, be getting rid of them. And if you restand the Patrick, his ability is not a once per turn ability, so you can effectively nuke your opponent's entire board by just simply soul blasting two. So a lot of the time, especially when you've got Patrick on the field, you don't really need to be going for rearguard attacks late game because Patrick's going to be getting rid of them for you. Uh, onto the grade ones then. I run two copies of Trish and two copies of Maple. Uh, Trish is just simply there. If she's on the rearguard, she gives herself 5k and she's also an extra 10k shield when you're in final rush. So a lot of the time she tends to stay in hand. Um, she's decent on the field, so she if so say if she's boosting Patrick in final burst, uh, which is also final rush again. Uh, Patrick swinging for twenty plus the eight from Trish, and then plus another five. That's just, that's that's thirty three k column, uh, and obviously that's still a uh, that's still a ten k when you are in final uh, final rush or final burst, even on your opponent's turn. And Patrick's still a twenty k, so it's still it's making very big columns. Uh, so only a two of for Trish. And Maple is your triple drive uh, creator for Bruce. So when you're in Final Rush, um, you can't plus one and you give your Veomance Bruce, or your Vanguard, should I say, uh, you just give it triple drive. With Bruce in his name. With Well, with Bruce in his name. So it's either um, um, 
the OG Bruce and or this Bruce. this Bruce. You can't give it to um, Grade 4 Bruce because Grade 4 Bruce already has Triple Drive, so you'd be just wasting a Cat's Blast with, Ma with Mabel here. But with Mabel, um, the only downside with using Mabel is if you're playing an opponent which runs the Elementaria Sanctitude and you're swinging with a Bruce with quote-unquote Triple Drive, then they can use the Elementaria Sanctitude with no okay. cost. However, it still means more cards to hand, and if you've got the Counter Blast for it, you can make your Bruce Triple Drive, and you can use the second Counter Blast to stand the column and give more triggers to rear guards. So it's very, very helpful. Uh, on to the next grade ones, I'm running four copies of Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie is, again, another uh, 8k uh, guard, but she is the uh, rear guard that is best suited to be on rear guard. Unlike Trish, who can be on both rear guard and hand, um, Stephanie is 100% suited to being on a, on a rearguard booster on the back row. And if you can get one, or maybe two, or God forbid, three on the field, you're punching extremely hard and you're hitting brilliant numbers. Uh, so Stephanie is, when you are in a final rush, you give the unit in front of her a permanent 5k. So say if you are boosting your vanguard, your Vehemence Bruce with a Stephanie. Uh, Vehemence Bruce doesn't gain power from final, uh, final Rush or Final Burst. So that is a 26k column. So you're making your Vehemence Bruce uh, an 18k by itself. And that's going to stay an 18k. So most uh, so, so no Vanguards can hit without hitting a trigger. Most Rearguards can't hit that are gaining power. So it just helps a bit, you know, defensively. And it makes guarding that much more easier. Uh, so on to the last grade ones, uh, four, four PGs, four PGs, four, four PGs, enough said, it's PGs, can't really say much more about that. You could uh, swap out one PG for a copy of the Elementary Sanctitude, I only have the one copy, that's in youth book, I don't want to swap it out because it's staying exactly where it is. <laughs> They're not expensive now, so I could easily get myself one if I wanted to. But for now, it's just four PGs. I can't say much more about that. There's no point running the trial jack PGs because if you have low hand, you're not PGing. Wasting time. So, triggers. Uh, I'm running four fronts because you're gonna be having four, you're gonna be having a full front row in this deck majority of the time. It's a 20k shield and it's more Diab uh, Diabolus units, so just in case you have to call triggers out, you wanna try and get more Diabolus units on the field. Uh, so four fronts, uh, four heals. Again, Diabolus heals, four heals, heals. Why would you not run heals? You could run the effect heals if you wanted to, but you know, again, situational, personal preference. I don't like running the effect heals in VMAX Bruce uh, because nine times out of 10, I am either killing my opponent before they can get silly effects off on me or I've not got enough damage for them to kill me when they get crit effects off or restand effects, so. Uh, and then we're running seven crits. Uh, so that's the OT, Luke. Uh, so we're running uh, four of the Diabolos crits and then just three any other generic crits. Again, effect crits are not needed anymore. Um, I used to run the effect crits in the original Bruce, but that was before we had cards like Patrick and cards like Julian and Jamil, which can soul charge for me. And this deck isn't anywhere near as soul heavy as the original grade three and grade four Bruce were. So. You can literally just improvise. Exactly. So you've got no problems there. So you don't need to run the effect crits anymore. So, and then last but not least, the OT. Um, again, you need Dark Six OT. There's no point running the uh, Festival Collection OTs in this deck because why wouldn't you want a permanent 10k and a crit T Vanguard? Especially in this deck when you're hitting for constant attacks. So you've got the 10k and crit pressure from the Vehemence Bruce. You're going to be getting an extra 10k to a column. So it's just more power. So you just want to be hitting as hard as you can. So. Right then guys, that's the deck profile. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, we will I, will, I will be giving, I will be bringing another deck profile when we have updates from set 12 for the two new units for, for the uh, Diabolus deck. But until that time comes, the deck will be staying the way it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video.